Live Rome Party Studio. Live Jerome Harden Studios. Live from Jerome Harden Studios. This is the last of my newscast. I will say about like to sit back, relax, chillax. Yeah, I'll see you later. So. What's up on JR? You chill all right, let's get started. Well, what am I doing right now? I'm in Restoring Field right now, as you can see here. Car passing by over there. Yeah. So but you know yesterday was 4th of July. And guess what? I had the worst 4th of July ever. Hello and welcome to the first ever um, season 10 of Jerome Harden Studios. And by the way guys, guess what um, today is. That is right people, today marks the 10th anniversary of Jerome Harden Studios. So um, let's get started on this topic. So what I'm going to talk about is over the years and achievements that I have done on um, my videos such as you know i done quite a lot of things while I was recording, doing videos and all this stuff, such as rapping, doing uh, lots of stuff, um, going on picnics, visiting malls, and all this. I really, I haven't visited malls, but, you know, just talk about random stuff. Um, and uh, the links below is the link where uh, I posted my first video on YouTube, so go check that out. Um, and by the way, um, I might uh, do um, rerun, reruns or uh, repostings of previous views that I've done over the years. Um, and by the way, guys, um, the videos, the previous videos that you see are people included. Um, by the way, a long time ago, um, while I was in high school, I was um, recording with my friends. Uh, we having fun times such as eating lunch making pottery, doing art, you know, just goofing around like a normal high school kids do. And speaking of the fact that, um, you know, I kind of missed the days while I was in high school. And um, as you can see here that I've shaved all my facial hair off and I'm wearing the same shirt that I was wearing 10 years ago now. So, um, yeah. And um, what I'm showing you is all the... Um, Previous years that I've done, and such as you know, driving on the roads and stuff. You know, you know. I mean, back then they didn't have the things that you know you put on the dashboard, you hold on the camera while you talking. Now, now, obviously, as you see it in stores and seeing in other people's cars and people doing this, people recording themselves by their driving and all that stuff. And you know, it's very crazy that you know we have all this technology that helps us focus more on the roads and stuff, and you know, and talking about that, you know, I did a quite few videos a few months ago, or last year, me driving on the road, you know, while I was talking on camera and stuff, well, the first time I ever did that, um, which is, uh, back on, uh, May 9th, after we had a huge power outage during the, uh, due to the April 27 storms that we obviously had with kill, which killed a, a lots of people um, back then. Really, I was like holding the camera while I was driving. I was very young and I was, you know, learning a lot by then, you know. I didn't know that much um, while I was, you know, that young. I was 18 at the time when the first newscast came out. Um, and, uh, by the way, guys, uh, and now that I'm 28, you know, it's very... It seems like yesterday, you know, that I recorded my first video, posted it on YouTube. It got very little views. It got 57. But when I just recently look back, the, over the years that, you know, I have over 100 videos, some of it have um, over 1,000 views. Um, And the most, uh, the video that has the most views is, you know, me talking about uh, Tracy Barbie when she was going viral for doing all the wrong things, doing all the disgusting things, talking about she want to have a baby with... Caucasian dude trying to talk about telling people to go kill themselves, you know, talking to talking a lot of crap that you know people didn't like, and you know, people will criticize about how she act, how she look, you know. And to be honest, you know, like Tracy Barbie is, you know, I think she needs help for real because you know, she's if she acting like this, she didn't care on how people think. You know, telling people to kill themselves and all that stuff. You know, it's, it's really crazy that, you know, 
you telling people to kill themselves and you being mean to people and you get famous for it. You know, people don't like that at all. And, you know, people will heavily criticize you for what you do and based on your actions or what you do. And, you know, and another thing that um, that caught my eye, too, is, uh, you know, I was uh, at the mall, Decatur Mall or whatever. You know, I was at Decatur Mall, you know, a, the first time that I went there um, recording uh it got a thousand views, um, and then the second time I went, um, it got less than a thousand views, so, um, really, I think it took a lot of years to get to a thousand views, like, you know, for the first time when I, I went there, you know, it was very different, you know, and the second time I went, it was very updated, you know, obviously when you looked at it, so, and, um, you know, Parkway Place Mall, I went there too, recording, uh, I think it was on a Black Friday when I was all off of work at Donato's Pizza, and, you know, I was really wanting to go there and, um, record all these people shopping and all this stuff, Black Friday, you know how excited it is on Black Friday when people are eating, shopping, and all that stuff, and, you know, I didn't get to do that, because, you know, obviously I was at work, and, you know, I didn't get to record, um, all that excitement and it was back in 2012 when you know i was very busy at the time everybody went to college you know i graduated high school back in 2012 um and you know before everybody went to college and went their separate ways um i did a few more recordings when i went to the picnic i went to the prom everybody was having a good time i was having a good time i was dancing you know i was uh in a tiny competition with you know a person named, I forgot what his, what his name is, but, you know, it was this dude that, you know, had them Michael Jackson moves or whatever, but I saw him, like, last year, and he's still doing them today, so, I mean, shout out to you, I mean, I hope you're doing good, man, you know, it's very, uh, surreal that, you know, that it was, like, eight, no, it was nine years ago when I was, gra I graduated high school, um, but still, technically, it's still eight years ago when I graduated high school. Met when turn when I uh, May twenty fifth comes, it's gonna be nine years, and then once two thousand twenty two came, it's gonna be ten years. So, wow, I'm getting really old. And you know, when when I shave my facial hair off, you know, I literally look like I was younger. You know, back when I was I had uh, gray hair ten years ago, but now I'm completely bald. So. For those of you that never see me with hair on my head, well, here it is. Like, I had a great full head of hair before I turned bald, um, starting in 2012 and so on, you know. And then, here I am, lost on my hair, and I figure I shaved my face too, so, you know, just to resemble what I looked like, uh, 10 years ago, so. And, yeah, it was raining outside, and I did a recording in my room. When it was storming outside, and, you know, I was showing one of my books that I wrote in the fourth grade, and, you know, it, I forgot what is what the name is, but, and, you know, I will show it to you when I have the time. I just gotta find it where it is, because it's been over the years since, you know, I wrote books and stuff, um, and, uh, you know, and about the graphics part, too, um, you know, my graphics part of the business has turned uh, five year old, well, five years old back in August. Um, I started doing it back in August 2015, and you know, once I started, I started uh, learning logo, learning to do flyers, uh, learning to all types of stuff. Um, what I like to do the most is um, I like to do. Um, so portrait art, you know, when I take your picture and turn to cartoon art, I haven't advertised those in a while, but I can show you what I am uh, about to put up on my pages right now, or it's always on my page if you've seen it. That Um, and welcome to the 10th anniversary of Jerome Horn Studios. This is recorded on Friday, April 9th, 2021. So, 
sorry I had to cut through this video, um, actually, because, you know, uh, I didn't give you all the information, uh, all the information that y'all needed, so, um, I'm just, you know, here recording and tell y'all the latest, so, um, let's get to it, so, um, the reason I'm recording this video is because, um, I need to, things to get off my chest as far as what I'm going to do on season 10 and all that other stuff because y'all didn't give enough information, I obviously missed some information such as, um, well, um, I'm going to be, um, as uh, you see in all the previous videos that I've done over the years that um, I was uh, talking about uh, international rap music, talking about the Jerry Springer show um, seven years ago, um, sometime in the fall while I was at college and all that stuff. Um, and even though I was at college, um, I still managed to make a newscast, even though because I didn't have a job. And even though that I have a job, um, I still managed to record and stuff. Um, and I did uh, record uh, one time at Point Mallard Park when I went there back in 2014 when I was at the Royal Park recording. It was during the summertime when everybody was having fun. Um, I was 21 years old at the time. Um, and, uh, yeah, and obviously I um, recorded uh, when I uh, recorded other artists that came out back in 2015. And, of course, today, I did not have the time or courage to, uh, get out those, um, cartoon, um, self-portrait art pictures that I promised, but I'm still working on it. So, um, yeah, that's the, one of the main reasons that I had to cut through this video because of that. So, um, and right now, um, I'm on my way to Dill Landing where I set up my, um, personal uh office where i do my projects at uh make my logos and all this stuff um yeah and uh i was going to show you how i set up my office i'm going to show you a little bit what they have done so far and the first time i ever did uh recording on uh dead lane was back in 2012 and things were a lot bit different uh back then mm, this car is driving fast and never supposed to or whatnot. This car is trying to get ahead and trying to cut in front of everybody. So, wow, that's crazy. So, yeah. Well, as I was saying, I'm on my way there now. I'm going to show you how I set up my virtual um, office, but you know, I got to be careful because you know, when I was uh, yesterday, when I was uh, doing my work up there, um, there was a lot of bugs, you know, and it's getting dark, dark outside. And tonight, it's supposed to storm really, really bad. So. That's the reason that I gotta hurry up and do this. Well, over the last several years of, of doing this newscast, uh, Jerome Harden Studios, as you know it, did not start out as a graphics company. I started doing business with graphic design. I mean, I wasn't working with anybody else. I started... Um, doing my graphics company back in 2015 and when I started I only did logos flyers and business cards that's the only three things I did as I um, started to meet clients um, head-on uh, what started what prompted me to do the graphic design business is um, remember I told you that uh, I got fired from six different jobs and nobody didn't want me as an employee so a friend told me one time when I was talking with her on the phone one night that um, I was uh, trying to see what I could do next. Uh, and then she told me, she can, you can go start a business. And I told her, how can I do that? I She told me, figure out what you're good at and go from there. So that's what I did. So it took me several weeks uh, to clear my head and figure out. Uh, who I am, like, over the years that, um, since I graduated high school, um, I started, uh, becoming bald at age 19, and then that really scared me, and that really worried me, like I had an identity crisis, I told myself, who am I at this point, I mean, am I Jerome Hart, or am I somebody else, I mean, look at, look at me, nobody else, you couldn't even find, uh, 
a teenager that is going bald at age 19 or age 18 or so. Except the one kid that I read on a newspaper that stole a U-Haul truck. Uh, I couldn't announce his name right, but he kind of looks like Trevor Phillips from Grand Theft Auto 5. Um, and yeah, that's very weird that you were going bald and not completely bald at 19 years old with no head of hair. You had hair on the sides right here and all that stuff. Uh, but that's what I'm going through right now um, in the midlife crisis when you're um, at age 19 and you know everybody be criticizing you and all that stuff. But yeah. And um, all right, back to the topic I was talking about um, when I was, you know, going through a midlife crisis. So um, let's. Uh, skip up to 2013 when I was, you know, everybody was at college, you know, I was doing my own thing, making videos and all that stuff, and I wasn't even worried about graphics all the time. I went to, uh, school I went to was ITT Tech, uh, which is Network Systems Administration, um, and I went there for two years, and then a year later after, um, uh, almost a year later when I started doing, uh, my graphic design business that shut down because you know they taking people's money they're doing fraud uh, through um, federal loan federal student loans and all that stuff uh, you can find lots of videos um, on YouTube that explain uh, what happened when you know um, when teachers or instructors didn't care you know exposing them with their lies and all that stuff I mean yeah, that's pretty sad that it had to close down and that it had to end like this. But remember, it was for the better. So, um, yeah, I mean, I feel sorry for those guys, including myself, that, you know, joined that program. Um, and to, to this day, I still haven't found a job in my field. Um, I think that I never ever will since I don't have a real degree anyway. So, yeah. And, uh... And going to 2014 when I um, had, uh, well, um, the first videos that I had from 2011 to 2014, I didn't get a uh, thousand views. Uh, and then when I first uh, got my thousand views, it was when I did that Decatur Mall video back in 2014 before they renovated all that stuff. Uh, it was close to 1,000, so kind of a cheap accomplishment, but guess what? It didn't even reach a thousand views until last year, so or sometime between 2019 or 2020, so it's kind of uh, surprising that, you know, that you are uh, supposed to be uh, getting a 100k or 100,000 views, like something like that over the years. I mean, if you're lucky enough, you can get like a 1 million views if you do something funny on YouTube. I mean, I just learned that, you know, sometimes that you don't, um, people don't want to watch a lot of boring videos, um, yeah, so that I learned that the hard way. So, why well, uh, told myself that you know, if you want to do a good video, um, that's you gotta uh, have and talk about important stuff or talk about the main topic of this video. So, go on YouTube and you can see what everybody's talking about. Uh, like today, uh, the main trending topic of the black community is you know, I was very shocked. Um, it was. Not, uh, I couldn't believe it. It was on my 10th anniversary today that, you know, the rapper DMX, uh, known as Earl Simmons, um, known as uh, Darkman X, um, he recently died today, and I was very shocked because of drug overdose, um, and uh, I was kind of shocked because uh, you losing people left and right. Um, first, we lose Kobe Bryant lose Tommy Lister, which he was on Friday, uh, Friday, and next Friday, he was, uh, the bully that, uh, takes uh, people's money and all that stuff, yeah, that actor died, and I was very shocked that, uh, that he died from COVID-19, and to top it all off, the U.S. death rate as of right now is 530,000 people die from the virus, and, uh, I was thinking, currently thinking about uh, making a newscast um, about getting $1,400 stimulus checks. Um, the last newscast when I talked about that, I was talking about that $600 stimulus check. It was the first time that the government was tripping. The first time uh, when I first received my 
12, uh, $1,200 um, stimulus check, um, that was the normal. I mean, everybody got there as quick, and, uh, um, and so did everybody else. But and then all of a sudden in December, when we all desperately need that money to uh, pay our bills, when we checked the website, the IRS told us that we're not eligible or we're working on this and told us we had to file a claim for the $600. So I'm going to check again on Monday to see uh, about getting that $1,400 stimulus check. It shouldn't have been here by now. I mean, I'm on uh, SSI. Uh, so if you don't file taxes or something like that, then I heard that people get it first rather than people who pay taxes on time. I mean, I'm still mad that uh, the IRS expects us to pay taxes on time but can't deliver our payments on time. Isn't that crazy? I mean, it's very um, sickening and heartbroken that our government treats our uh, people like this. So, and, uh, all right. So, I think I'm going to um, stop talking about the um, IRS topic of... Uh, I was going to go talk, uh, go back to what I was doing. Um, back when I was uh, doing my uh, newscast at the K Mall, when I first had my first 1,000 views, which is currently last year, when I got to that point, um, Willie, let's forward back, fast forward to 2003, when I really first had my had the most views. Um, I did a video about Tracy Barbie, um, like, there's this girl that talks about all different kinds of crazy stuff, crazy shit, that, uh, she wanted people to die, wanted people to kill themselves, um, and she rather dates Caucasian men rather than our own race, um, so, and... I, even though this uh, topic, this trending topic was um, several uh, years ago when people were talking about her. And of course, when I recently um, Google her pay, I mean, looked up, looked her up on YouTube, she's still doing the same stuff. So I'm kind of shocked that she would act this way. So it is what it is. Um, and uh, yeah, so um, when I was. Uh, um, that's when I got my um, most views like this video that I did about Tracy Barbie had 10,000 views and so on and let's fast forward to 2016 when things started to slow down and started working on my graphics business a little more than doing videos um, so that's when uh, the video uh, thing of Jerome Hardy Studios started to die down a little bit and start, I'm starting to focus more on getting my business up, how to make money, and all that stuff. And I'm still learning to do that today because I get a lot of criticizing, I get, get a lot of hate, I been the main topic of other graphic designers, um, and then I, you know, once again had a daily crisis and told myself, who I, am I at, at this point? So, really, uh, 10 years is a long time that you uh, started your company. And I think today marks the day that I should be celebrating. I just recently got up from a nap because I stay up all night trying to prepare for this. And even though that this uh, video won't be going out today because, you know, obvious stuff been going on um, and all that stuff, even though um, people been blowing me up for graphics and so on. And, you know, I've been tired a lot, you know, been worn out, but, you know, real well rested now. And we're um, near the uh, site that I've been doing my graphics on. So I'm going to show you how I set up my... Um, office, you know, start my works and all that stuff, but, you know, it's getting kind of dark outside, so, yeah. And, you know, back to, to fast forward to 2007, when I really did one video, um, I don't remember what it was, but, you know, I can look it up, but, and, and then when I, when I first moved into my first apartment, that's when I start started to back doing videos but it wasn't that much um and in 2019 i took a year year off just to think about um what i'm going to do trying to 
see what be, people be talking about on YouTube and all that stuff. Um, and uh, what ke keeps me going is that all the other YouTubers show me how um, they do uh, good videos and all that stuff. Um, and animated characters on there talking about a lot of stuff. Um, now, what the next few... The, the, the next few videos, um, be sure to look out for a video where I talk about the main topic that I was going to cover for a very, 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 very long time. It's about, um, people rebooting shows, um, uh, you know, the, if you were born in the 90s or 1980s, you recently noticed that, um, a lot of shows getting rebooted. If you remember uh, the Proud Family, you remember Saved by the Bell, the Powerpuff Girls, uh, Teen Titans Go, SpongeBob SquarePants. Really, SpongeBob SquarePants didn't get rebooted. It just ran for like 20 plus years now. And plus, he got two spinoffs. Supposed to get two spinoffs. One of them was uh, Camp Coral, and one of them was um, the Patrick Star Show. So, and the other shows that we love to talk. That I'm going to cover is I call it they supposed to be rebooting that it even ended in 2000 it ended back in 2012 it didn't even end uh, 10 years ago 2012 will be 10 years old next year so I call it ended in 2012 um and Zoe 101 is trying to reboot that but failed because you know the main star Jamie Lynn Spears is being a uh, being a brat to her Big sister Brittany, which she's in currently conservatorship. Um, yeah. And uh, let's see, what other shows that are getting rebooted? Um, well, Boy Meets World got rebooted back in 2014. It ended in 2017 because they didn't get enough views of, for some reason. But yeah, I got to look it up on computer to see which shows are getting rebooted. I know the Proud Family is getting rebooted, but I didn't. I didn't even expect all the shows to get rebooted. Like. Back in 2012, when I was uh, watching YouTube and watching um, the current shows that was airing on Disney one time, they talk. All these people are talking about, "Hey, let's bring the Proud Family back. Let's bring Kim Possible back. Let's bring all this da 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 all this stuff." But they, uh, in the end, uh, it, the, these uh, movies or shows started to look crappy. Starting to look very cheap. Um, they didn't put as much effort as they did back in uh, in the 2000s. So. I told, I asked myself, is this the shows that are currently airing right now? Is that all the hard work that these put, people put into? I mean, what the hell happened right there? But, um, yeah, so, back to the topics that I was talking about. Um, yeah, that's why I wanted to, you know, let you guys know, be on the new lookout for the newscast for that, because I really need to cover this topic about that. So, um, and anyway, um, 2018 and then 2019 I took a break and 2020 um that's when I started back doing newscasts um every season nine talking about a few topics here and there and then I took a break once again and then here I am uh 10 years later doing this video um yeah so and do you really want to know how what it prompted me to start Jerome Martin Studios well I had a flip phone one time it had a camera it had a recording camera that's my first recording camera phone that I had um, at first I already thought it can take a few seconds of the video um, it did have a sim card so I tested it out put a sim card in and push record and see what how long it'll record so 30 minutes later it'll record 30 minutes and then it will record an hour so wow this phone is something so um, yeah I just erased that video because I, you know, I wasn't doing nothing obviously so I erased that video, recorded it again, put it in front of my face, and just started from there talking about random stuff. Um, but you know, it's very boring. So um, yeah. And then the next video, that's when Jerome Hart Studios were born, April 9th, two thousand eleven. Ten years later. Wow, what an accomplishment. So seven thirty now. So we still got time to you know teach you guys how to uh, how I set up my art how to start my work and all that stuff and I really need to hurry up and do this before it start raining so and you know 
I really hope y'all um, enjoy this ride that I'm um, having right now. Because remember, I told you that you know my first of uh, me driving my car to obvious places like you know the Parkway craze, um, J Dog on the road, and all that stuff. I mean. All these videos that I've been doing, you know, just you know, when I had a picnic for my friends, you know, went to proms and all that stuff, you know, you can see a lot of people that I've been hanging with before they graduated high school and went on to college. And some of my friends that I still know that I went to high school with, they still go to college. So, guys, I hope you're doing good out there. Um, I had classmates that, you know, got in trouble for obvious felonies, and, um, not trying to hit that, um, if you are watching this right now, guys, the guys I went to high school with, make sure you, make sure you all do good, make sure you, uh, be successful in life, don't make stupid decisions, so, yeah. And we are here, folks. We're here at Dinner Landing. Um, I was going to show you um, the walkway that they recently opened up, but it's not done yet. I was going to take you um, back there the last time I showed you. Um, yeah, it was called Elgie's Walk Greenway that I wanted to show you, but it's, get, it's too late. It's getting dark outside, so I'll go ahead and do that another day. So we're almost here, folks. And, and for those who have been with me, thank you guys for supporting me so much. Uh, I recently posted um, stuff about the 10-year anniversary and all that stuff. And this is the week start of a good weekend. So I figure I wanted to kick the weekend off with um, starting... Uh, on how I um, went from uh, just doing videos to doing graphics to doing both. Um, I think it will be successful if I can do both. That way I can advertise my graphic design business, get more money that way. You know, it's very, uh, you know, very surreal that, you know, it's been a long, come a long way. And, you know, 10 years is a very long time to be doing something like this. Alright guys, we are finally here. And really, I I don't know what I was going to say. To be honest. Alright guys, we are finally here. Woo, what a ride. Okay, so, all right, so, here's what I'm going to do. So, I'm going to get out the car, right, and I'm going to open my trunk, and I'm going to teach you guys how I set up my office, so, let's go. All right, guys, here's the table. Uh, sorry, um, it's got a little junky in there, but let's see where it is. Here it is. Um, I better be careful. I'm holding the camera at the same time. I don't want to scratch my car's paint. Whew. Yeah, so let's take this over there. This is the pavilion I'm talking about. Um, remember, I taught, I um, called it a little office back in 2012 one time. Um, and here's the bridge right there, but obviously it's dark. Um, very cloudy out um, this Friday evening. You know, if you stay out here um, late at night, you will find very, very beautiful things out here, such as, you know, tree frogs out here. I took a picture of that yesterday. I uh, did a recording on uh, on Instagram that um, that had a lot of bugs that are flying around this area, you know. And here's an, another thing that I want to show you, too. So, all right, so. Let's go ahead and turn the lights on. Yeah, so let's light it up, baby. You 
see these geek geek goose eggs right here. I thought I had to had uh, more yesterday. I thought they had more yesterday. I guess the snake came and eat them all up. Of course, you can't um, turn the lights on on that side over there. So. You see more, more eggs right there. Where I saw egg right here yesterday. Hmm. But anyways, guys, enough talking. So, I'm going to show you guys um, how I uh, set up my office. So, another customer just uh, texted me that. Uh, she wanted her logo, but I'm going to give it to her. You know, I've been working on it all day. I, you know, I haven't forgot about her, so. Come on, you can do this wrong. Okay. Just open that up. You know, this is kind of hard opening up. We're recording at the same time, but, you know. I'm gonna show you guys right quick on how I set up my office because I really come here every day to do my work because it's so people are quiet, it's less distracting. You have no choice but to work, right? So, yeah. So, all right, now to get the rest of my stuff and show you how Jerome Hart Studios roll, people. Yeah. Damn, I left the truck on. Oh, there are no bugs in here. I just guess it'll be alright from here. Didn't, don't see no lot of bug activity, luckily, because it's supposed to be raining very soon down here. So, saw one of my friends post that. That it's rain, raining very hard coming from Texas to Mississippi. It's supposed to be headed down here in a few minutes, so. Right, all right. Let's open this up. This is my knapsack or book bag, and here are my two computers right there. One the gray, one black. And this is the computer that I've been making my videos on. So, yeah, just open that up. Grab your chair right here. And voila, this is how you have your own private office right here. Look at that. And of course, it has plugs right here. So, yeah. Any place that has internet, you know, the internet here has been crappy lately because of the recent storms we had. So, um, but last year, the internet did me a favor. So. Yeah. No, very beautiful out here this evening. You know, it has the river, has a lot of docks, you know, everything. Just look at that. Very beautiful. Well, I should be sticking around at work, but it's getting dark out here and the security guard is going to keep me out, so. So I wanted to show you guys how I set up my office. Um, would have been better during the daytime, but hey, everybody has a life, right? So, yeah. All right, guys. Um, I'm gonna end this newscast right here, and I hope y'all enjoyed this uh, 10 year special. I'm sorry I didn't get to do the things that I wanted to do. Wanted to show you the um, cartoon portrait art that I wanted to show you, but hey, it is what it is, but I had to do something for this uh, anniversary, so it's still Friday, and it's, um, I still have the weekend to kick things off, so more things will be coming very soon, so be on the lookout for that, and if you're friends, or if you're friends with me on Facebook, be sure to look out um, 
things that I'm going to do here and on out from there and also I'll be releasing two videos that I didn't get to release yet last year but you know I'm going to do the current intro that I've been doing today so be on the lookout for that and I'm signing off right now I'm Jerome Harden founder and graphic designer of Jerome Harden Studios happy 10th anniversary guys I hope to see y'all soon I am out peace